fine, you did fine, mighty fine. Shorty really blow the pie. That's true. Like a pro. <laughs> I could do a dance every time I'm doing a video but hello I am back again with another video it's airy and this is a really exciting video because it is a video about my tattoo my tattoo oh that hurt <laughs> my tattoo and my experience with getting it here's a close-up of it it says Jeremiah 29 11 Ex okay, so excuse the lighting in this video because number one, I messed up by choosing to film. By choosing to take a nap before I filmed and I ended up waking up at like 5 while the sun was going down. And so I didn't finish my makeup till like 6. And then when I put my battery into my camera, it wasn't even charged and it's still not fully charged. But I really wanted to film this video before it probably started storming outside because I can see just black clouds in the sky right now. And outside is just not lit at the moment so this lighting in this video is also not lit so with that being said please excuse the lighting so this is going to be a video on my tattoo i got it um yesterday which was friday and it's going to be in my vlog that i post tonight um so today's saturday um i've always wanted this tattoo because this is my bible verse like this is the bible verse that me and my family live by it it keeps me going it encourages me it's jeremiah 29 11 states for i know the plans that i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you hope in a future so i got it um no my parents don't know i have a tattoo i mean they know now because i'm making a youtube video about it and they watch my youtube videos but this is my birthday present to myself it's hideable like if i put on a dress shirt you can't see it at all so like when it comes to interview purposes and stuff for like getting jobs and stuff won't hinder me from that or anything so this is it's a really good place because it's there but you can also hide it i guess i'll get into my experience so i was gonna go to this place that was like five minutes away from where i stay right now or where my dorms are and it was called arsenal tattoos or something like that but um the guy was all booked up and that place had like five stars on google so i was like yes i'm going there but the guy was all booked up or whatever and i had told myself that day i'm going to get a tattoo today like this is what i want to do for my birthday this is what i want my birthday is next week on the 15th by the way it wasn't yesterday but um that's just what i wanted to do i looked up the second place that was on google that was under him it was it was called like um planet inc if you live in my area it's on cop parkway and let me tell you, this place was like the coolest shop. You'll see it in my vlog. It's like the coolest shop. There's like art everywhere. Um, the guy that did my tattoo, he was super cool, super nice, really experienced. Um, he was just so cool and so dope. His arm was like tatted up and stuff. And like, it was just like the dopest shop I had ever seen. And so I walked in and um, the guy asked me what I wanted, basically. He's like, what's up? And I'm like, hey, I will just want a tattoo. And he's like, okay, what you want? And I said that I wanted Jeremiah 2911. He typed it in on, the, on his little Mac or whatever. And um, he pulled up all the little different fonts that I could get. And I was looking through the fonts and they were all so pretty. It was hard for me to choose, but I chose this one. And then after I chose, we went into... I was with my roommates and like her friends and like I had a big group with me and we just went into his um his room where he does the tattoos and um I felt like I was at the doctor because the room was set up like that but I wasn't at the doctor so um I sat in a little tattoo chair and he um had the little printout and he stuck the printout on me so I could see if I liked how it looked um and like at first it was like right here so he um he moved it up to like follow my collarbone and like that um so i really like how it's positioned now i guess i should go into like pain tolerance he um put the little ink and thing maybe i don't know all the logistics of that but basically um he just like traced it traced the printing and it felt like um somebody is like scratching you really hard or like a cat is like clawing you or like um but it also feels like there's like a pinching sensation you know what I mean it hurt yes it did it hurt I'm not gonna lie it did hurt it hurt like from 1 to 10 I would give it a 6.5 
but at the same time I'm a baby so like but yeah and then afterwards like I was literally like oh my god it was so pretty like everybody thought it was really pretty um and so this is something that I feel like I can live with for the rest of my life because it means so much to me you know what I'm saying I feel like you should get something that means a lot to you and that's gonna mean a lot to you for the rest of your life not something that just is cool now but that's gonna be cool later you know and so he took I paid for it it was sixty dollars which I was so happy about because I was scared of like it if it were to gotten the hundreds or whatever but no it was only sixty dollars and I was really happy and I'm glad I didn't go to like somebody's house or something because you don't know though that's like real sketch and like you don't want to be messed up you don't want nobody to mess you up girl so don't go to nobody's house always go to a shop um I had to sign like you know those waiver forms you know make sure I had to fill out to make sure I wasn't allergic to anything and stuff like that and does it hurt right now only if I like touch it it hurts but like it doesn't hurt you know and like it's starting to like peel you know what I'm saying and um, before I left he basically told me to do a couple of things he told me that I needed to buy some um, skin cream so you know because it is a scab this is a wound so I need to heal it basically so the cream that I'm using is the is the A and D um, first aid ointment this is what I'm using the bottle looks like this if you guys have ever used this for a cut or anything that's what it looks like he told me not to use cortisone or Vaseline because that will cause the tattoo to fade and then he also told me to use antibacterial soap he said non-scented but i couldn't find any non-scented and i don't even think the one that he had on the thing was non-scented so it's like but um this is he had dial soap so he's pointing to that so that's what i got i got antibacterial dial soap and so that's what I'm supposed to wash it with. And while I'm in the shower, he said I'm not supposed to just like, um, wow, it's getting really dark outside. He said I'm not supposed to like let the water just run on it or anything or anything like that because that will also cause the tattoo to fade while it's in its first healing processes and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. Like this is something that I love about myself now. Like I feel like a different person now. And I feel like this just makes me more interesting. Like, it makes people say, hey, like, what is that? Or, like, you know, like, um, why did you get that? It just makes me feel like a deeper person and I have more to me, you know? Even though tattoos don't make you more interesting, I just feel like this is very interesting. So, yeah, so I hope you guys, I hope you guys like but yeah, I love you guys, and I thank you for watching this video, even though the lighting was horrible, and I will talk to you guys in my next one.